So the next generator I'll show you is called Polyrhythm. And this is basically like a multi-track rhythm generator. It's really, really good for drums, but you can use it for melodies too. It's sort of similar to one of the built-in ones, which is called Euclidean, uh, but it has some extra features. So it's six tracks, so, and these are all identical to one another, and you can basically make rhythms with each of the tracks. I'm going to set the bass note here to C1. So this first parameter of each of these tracks is basically the offset from that bass. And like all of the other devices, it's scale aware. So if uh, you're using a, a pitched instrument or you have the scales avail enabled, um, then this control will offset the pitch in scale degrees, keeping things in tune. But because I'm using a drum rack here, it knows that it shouldn't enable any scales. So I'm just gonna step up one by one. So if I play this, I just have a basic Euclidean pattern here. So this is an eight step pattern with five events. And because this is a 16 step sequence, according to the grid in the MIDI clip, it's actually gonna loop that pattern twice. And I can change the Euclidean pattern parameters and change the pattern. So the first two parameters are the length or the number of steps and then this density and then the third one is the rotation. We can also add another one. like patterns like this that have different lengths because I think that it gives more sort of motion to the rhythm. It feels less locked and it feels like less of a groove. And this is an example of a polymeter. So this video I made a while ago and which you can go find that explains the difference between a polyrhythm and polymeter. And basically the difference between the two is that if I have uh, two patterns like this that are different lengths, one is 12, one is 11, or let's do nine and I don't know, 16. Basically what we do is we just, when we're done with the first, it, when we're done with each pattern, so we've counted out nine and then we start, we wanna start the next one. We just start over with the next nine and we keep the grid resolution kind of underneath all of it the same. So we count out nine steps according to the grid, and then we just start the pattern over. In polymeter, what we do is we actually stretch the grid for each track independently according to the length. So if I do that by switching this distribution mode from fill, which is the polymetric version, to stretch, which is the polyrhythmic version, and I let's say if I increase here, you can see we're getting kind of a weird rhythm. And that's because we have basically two elements here that are using very different underlying grids. This tends not to work that well for drum stuff, particularly if you want it to work on the dance floor, but I find that it's great for things that are a little bit more experimental and also really great for melodic material. We're not quite as concerned with it really being locked in rhythmically. Uh, so the, there are these distribution modes that will allow you to toggle between the polymetric and the polyrhythmic uh, styles. There's also this third one, which is called Hug, which is like the polymetric, except it will not loop the pattern. So in the fill mode, you can see we, you know, if we have nine steps, we'll go through the first nine and then we'll restart uh, through to the end. And then when we get back to the beginning of the pattern, we'll start again with the first step. Um, but in the hug mode, we're just only using, you know, in this case, the nine. And then you can kind of shift each of the patterns within the clip like that. So this one's kind of cool too, um, just depending on what you're looking for. play around and see 
see what works. You can also enable or disable any one of these tracks with these yellow buttons. And then, as I'm guessing you've already figured out, you can change like that instrument or the note that you're playing, the pitch that you're playing. In addition to Euclidean algorithm, we also have a, I'm going to go back to the Tom, uh, this other algorithm that I call Omni. And it is a little bit like the one that's used in the rhythm built-in Ableton device. Basically what it does is it lets you pick, like the Euclidean algorithm, I'm going to pause this, sorry. Like the Euclidean algorithm, it allows you to pick the length and the density of the pattern, but then it's not producing a Euclidean pattern. It's just going to give you, basically it's going to give you um, pretty much any pattern that is possible given those two attributes, the length and the density. And then this third knob, the variant, basically just allows you to cycle through any other possible pattern. So like, this is like kind of insane because you can literally have any possible pattern that is 16 steps long and has eight events in it. And you just can kind of scrub through and find the one that you like with this Omni mode. Uh, one note that I'll say is that this algorithm is a little, it's a little heavy, particularly when you're working with longer length. So you may find that when you're manipulating, particularly the length and the density, that it's a little bit sluggish. Um, but when you do the variant, it should actually be pretty snappy because we've already done all the math. Uh, to figure that out. Uh, so yeah, that's Polyrhythm. Super powerful. I've been making tons of beats with it. Um, and it's really good once, you know, one thing that I find is that I'll kind of generate something. So I don't know, let's say, yeah, I'm happy enough with that. And then, then from there, I will go and start to play around with things to do stuff like, for example, modify the velocity. Right, because this one just produces everything at a constant velocity. And if you want there to be any variation in velocity for a specific instrument, you have to have another way to do that. And that's where getting into kind of stacking generations and transformations with these MIDI tools is really powerful.